Yeah, so if you take a look at the best leading uh, AI chips out there, they all use a very specific technology known as a systolic array. So, and one of the keynotes went over it today. Systolic arrays were invented in the late 70s, early 80s. And they provide basically the accelerant for the AI algorithms. So Google uses them, Microsoft uses them, everybody uses them. As a legacy of the 70s and the 80s, you have to basically build the systolic array to be good at one type of problem. And basically, in my talk, I have a link that you can, guys can click on, but basically, it has to be a square. And if you give it a problem that isn't a square, it becomes inefficient. So if you take a look at current technology, they use a systolic array, but around the systolic array, you massage the data, you move the data, you feed this unit, you drain this unit, you rearrange the data, you move it back across the die. So you wind up burning immense amount of power feeding this thing. So Kernami's engineering insight here is, if we can take techniques from the dynamically reconfigurable computing era, made it with systolic arrays, giving the software programmer the ability to instantiate a systolic array exact of an exact size of the problem he's solving. So rather than trying to fit everything in a square, you can build any shape the software requires and it runs much lower power consumption, higher performance. Hence, taking the systolic arrays and making them second generation. So it actually is the accelerant, the systolic arrays are the accelerant for both training and inference. Uh, our viewpoint basically is the machine learning space is so large uh, that it will go everywhere. So basically what happened is 2015, roughly-ish, uh, first time ever a machine outperformed the human in visual perception. Okay, so that deep learning, machine learning, AI technology is going everywhere. So the example I always use, and I, I'm serious, this is cool, I want the product, but uh, I'll give you an idea where it's gonna go, right? So they're gonna take a the machine learning algorithm, put it in a cat door, so only your cat can enter the house, and even better, from my perspective, only your cat without a mouse in its mouth can enter your door, okay? So that tells you this technology will go everywhere. It'll be in every device we have, it'll be in every sensor we have, it'll be in every data center. Uh, the world's changing. It's one of those fundamental changes. Um, and so, yes, uh, as a startup, we're getting pulled in a very specific market, the really high performance, low power market. Uh, our technology is basic technology. It can serve the entire market.